In this video, what I would like to do is I would like to start working on our header for our dashboard, our admin dashboard. Let's see. So this is our admin dashboard. You see, we can see in the URL admin dashboard. All right, it's very bland. Um, all we have is the, uh, something that says inside admin dashboard. And if we look inside our admin dashboard component, that's because of this right here. All we're returning is a div tag with inside admin dashboard. So let's start working on our admin dashboard. All right, let's go ahead and remove that div tag and add and what we want to do is we want to return a section tag just like that okay what did we do here all right return a section tag here just like that all right nothing in it so far we will fill it up uh fill it in and shortly all right so the first thing we want to do like i said in this video is i want to create our our header the header portion of our admin admin dashboard component so we're gonna do a content I'm gonna do call it show header all right it's gonna be an arrow function and let me um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to my sign in uh, component I'm just gonna take some of these um, yeah I want to take some of these comments over here so in and bring them over here just for me it's 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 makes it's a lot easier for me so for here i'm going to add views and you don't have to do this it's just a personal thing um let's see for the return i, I can it's like the renderer for me um, i'm going to copy that and bring that into the admin dashboard and paste that in right there all right just like that all right so now so all we have is our show header and then we'll return in a section tag all right so in the show header what i want to do is i want to create a div tag and this one i want to do class name and this is all bootstrap also we're using bootstrap uh styling um, i'm gonna do background i'm gonna call it dark background dark save that okay Okay, nothing so far. Okay, no problem. All right, and we're also going to do a div tag within it, and this is going to be uh, we're going to do a class name. It's going to do a row, and within the row, we're going to do a another class name. This one's going to be column dash md six, and then within here, we want to do a h one tag h1 tag with an icon an i tag and add a class name to that i tag and the class name this is going to this is going to be where we're going to add our font um, well first of all actually you know what let me remove that for now now let's just just set a, a, a icon a i tag and for now just put dashboard just like so and go ahead and save that uh what do we do here admin dashboard export default admin oh okay yeah well that's because all right so we created our uh, function here which is just creating some jsx for us it's going to display our header it's called show header and the reason why we have this error here is because we're not rendering it here we, have, we haven't rendered it yet so inside your section tag inside uh, curly braces an opening curly braces do show header show header and then parentheses because it's a function and if you save that what no export the file admin dashboard admin dashboard what parsing error import and export may only appear at the top level Oh, oh, for some reason, I deleted a closing uh, curly brace over here. So that was the error. Okay. All right. So make sure you close that up like that. All right. And if I save that and I look here, refresh, 
Look at that. All right, so we got the little section here with the dashboard, but it's dark, and that's not what I want. So we're going to continue to add some bootstrap classes here. So next to background dark, do text white. Save. All right, good. And I'm going to do a P, uh, PY-4 for padding on the top and bottom. Save. All right, good. All right, and then now let's add our icon uh, next to our dashboard. So here, in for the iTag, add a class name. And we're going to do um, FOS fa dash home. And if we save that, go back. There we go. Just like that. All right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, you know what? I totally forgot to add a container to wrap around the row. Silly me. All right, go ahead and uh, one of the create a class or uh, another div out here. Call it container and take all this over here, copy it delete it for now and then paste it inside all right so we should have a container wrapping around the row and the column like that and if we save that that's exactly what I wanted to do just like that but I want to create a little bit of space here between the, the, the icon and the dashboard so all we have to do here is press the space tab space space uh, the space button and and save it and there you go all right, and that is it. All right, something very simple, but as you can see, our we have some life, uh, uh, some life now to our dashboard. All right, so that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video.